What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and this is news that's probably going to put a lot of you at ease and it involves the Splatoon hackers. I covered a couple of days ago, or maybe weeks ago at this point, the fact that there was a hacker online who had a name that began with a K and some random letters and symbols in it. The dude was basically going around taking massive dumps on people's save files due to the fact that he was using hacking tools in online play with Splatoon ranked modes and um, regular splat zones and all that. Um, Oh, no, Turf Wars, excuse me. Splat Zones are a ranking mode. Anyways, the news was really disturbing. And due to the fact that you had to basically stay in the lobby and you couldn't leave or else your save file would get destroyed, a lot of people were unaware of that very important detail and they got their shit messed with. Well, now Nintendo seems like they're taking a stand against these online hackers. Now, not all of them are bad, but the people that do play online that don't know the damage that they're causing, they have to do something to stop it. So let's take a look at the article right now. It's on um, Nintendo Everything, actually. Give me a second because I, I fucked up with the uh, placement of this, but we're going to just pull it up really quick and I'll just make it bigger here. Yeah, you know, kind of got to do things a little run and gun style since I'm not, you know, in my home setting right now. But anyways, so this is a rumor apparently. OK, so this isn't even fully confirmed, but I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo took a stand like this. My only the only question I had in my brain really was would it even be possible to take an action like this in Splatoon as it is? The game doesn't really seem like it's optimized for a moderation that if, if you know what I mean, you know, it doesn't really seem like it would have like a way to you know punish people for doing certain things but if smash 3ds could then maybe splatoon is also capable last week you reported on a serious issue pertaining to splatoon um i covered this you can read our original post here for the full story but essentially some players were using an exploit to play as octolings which would corrupt other users save data rumor has it that nintendo has since followed up on the situation supposedly such hackers who had obtained access to content like unreleased character models and weapons have been banned at the system level. So we don't know the full details of this. It's not known if it's an account ban. Um, well, actually, the rumor is basically that it's a system ban. So that means that if the person maybe logged into their account on a different system um, and play Splatoon, then you know they wouldn't be able to play. But then again, how do you get your account onto a different system? You could essentially copy your data from your Splatoon game onto a USB drive and then you know take it to a friend's house. Would you still be able to play the game? But consider that you have to basically be able to hack the game at a very deep level to be able to receive a ban like this in the first place. So the only person that I think would have the ability to test this out is NW Player herself. But until this point, we really know nothing more about this. The rumors are still going to be rumors. And until NW Player confirms something on her own end, all we can do is hope that there will be no more people's save files destroyed by this. I haven't really played online since I did that last story. I'm not like scared of it, but I worked hard for my gear, man. I have a lot of sea snails as well, too. I ain't trying to fuck those up. I ain't. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.